What we've seen these past few years is that uh, regulators and central bankers has really started to mobilize uh, regarding climate change, but they have mostly done it on a risk-based uh, approach. So facing the huge challenge that we have to finance the transition, we can wonder if it's enough or shouldn't the um, financial regulation uh, serves as an accelerator uh, for the transition. Of course, it's not a question to substitute or to replace the um, economic policies or the environmental policies, but it was really the first question we have when we started this uh, report, is uh, what are the obstacles of financing the transition and on which obstacles the financial regulation can offer uh, some tools. What we have uh, identified is a uh, three family of obstacles. The first one uh, is uh, the lack of understanding of the, what climate change is and of what the transition is. The second type of obstacle that we've uh, identified is uh, the perspective that is too short term, um, detrimental, a longer term uh, perspective. And the third type of uh, obstacles that we've uh, identified is a difficulty to um, uh, have an interest in a project that, are, that offer lower returns, um, that are viable, but that, uh, for which the returns is too low. So for the first uh, family uh, of obstacles, so the, this lack of understanding of uh, what climate change is and of what the transition is, we've seen that it, it, uh, even if it has increased in the past few years, it's uh, still uh, too weak and especially for banking actors. And here we offer several recommendations, but our main one is really to act much more strongly in, uh, on training and to include it in the supervisory expectations and to take actions to verify that uh, some uh, the financial uh, actors have uh, improved. So for the second family of obstacles, um, our uh, main recommendation is really to act on the remuneration policy to push the financial actors to have an interest in projects on the longer term and also to include uh, uh, impact criteria so that they, um, they can have other interests than just the short term uh, financial returns. And for the, the last uh, family of uh, obstacles, uh, our main recommendation is uh, to act on the prudential regulation, not through the pillar one and uh, minimum requirements, but rather with uh, the pillar two, so that the bank uh, can include uh, impact criteria on their decisions um, and have a long-term objectives and transition plan in on five years. So what we see with this report is that we open uh, uh, many doors that still need uh, a lot of research to be to be deepened but we can really see that financial regulation has a role to play in the policy mix for financing the transition